G'day everyone, welcome to Whimsycraft episode 3. This video will be coming at you a bit later than I was hoping, but I hope you did enjoy the montage. The reason why I start off with a montage at the start of this video is because I've spent the last week being sick and I needed to be productive somehow, so I've turned a bunch of the footage that I recorded into a montage. I terraformed this whole area over here into a nice field of flowers. I'm really happy with it. It looks really nice at nighttime. It's actually based off this image right here. I really like the sparseness of the trees. They're like some sort of spruce or pine tree in the image. Um, it's just got Finn and Jake just sitting there. I think it's really nice. I need to sleep. And also, I made this mob farm, which there we go, there's a zombie dying. I made a mob farm uh, using all the darkness from underneath my base. Because as you know, this is all custom terrain that I made in the last episode and yeah I thought I'd make use of the area down here and it's just got um some trapdoors on a hopper clock that uh Finn made and yeah every minute it turns on and off and all the mobs and stuff flow down the water streams into these campfires and then I collect them all here. It's been running for a few hours. I've got quite a few drops actually and it's killed some pillager patrols which is really funny. Um, I, I'm i not looking to make the most efficient farm. Obviously there's ways I could make it a, f a bit more efficient but this is this is my farm design and I'm really happy with it because I've already got all the mob drops that I need. I guess I could have a few more bones for um, more bone meal and stuff. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I need to catch you up on. Okay, so the first thing I think I should talk about is me and Will tried to get back Matt and uh, this is how it went. Alright, we're approaching it. Do we see him? Where are you? I lost you. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to say look behind you. <laughs> no, as in where we came from. <laughs> look, look. Oh, we came no. From... <laughs> no. <laughs> we been busted. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> I was just coming over my little makeshift dirt road that goes to spawn, and I saw... Two little legs, four little legs running towards my base. <laughs> we weren't coming here for any particular reason. We were just coming to say hi. Yeah, we were, we were just coming to say hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't believe you. So, so, yeah, so, so what brings you to this neck of the woods um, then? The sky. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like no air pollution <laughs> <Look> out <laughs> here. It's, there's, there's like barely any light pollution. It's a really nice place to like watch the stars. It, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. Strike two, eh? Maybe third time lucky. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It looks like you guys are going to have a bit of a, of a walk of shame yeah. at home, to be honest. Yeah. Isn't it? Just a, just a bit. It's a little bit sad. <laughs> Well, maybe in episode, you know, three, four, five, six, you might try and <laughs> you just try every pull single off. episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you yeah. the best of luck. And I'm yeah. yet to retaliate because there has been nothing to retaliate for. <laughs> <laughs> in this video, I want to get all this area here terraformed with custom trees, custom bushes. And over there, I want to put a hunter's bus, but I'll get more into that in a bit. Okay, so for a while, me and Will have been wanting to connect our base with a bridge. So we've sort of already started. We've got the shape in place. And uh, so we've got an idea of how we're going to texture the bridge. It's going to have a little transition from the sort of red blocks that we've got over here. So there's like granite brick mud. And the mud is the transition block to the darker colors, which we're going to have uh, connecting to the water and also on that side of the bridge. It should end up looking pretty cool. Gibbity doodah. All right, so we've got the shape of the bridge in. It sort of looks like a mustache, which is a bit funny, but I really like how it's it's really smooth. Like it goes up and it's got a little bit of a dip and then it smoothly goes down again. We're going to do like a mix of a dirt and spruce um, floor for it. And we're also going to do like sort of tough underneath. I think that's going to be nice. And yeah, we're still going to be using these block pallets over here. All right, before I go into the next clip, I have to say I had the scientist by Coldplay playing in my music. 
Um, and I've got to pause it before I start recording with Will. So yeah, sorry if you hear that. I tried to cut it out. Bridge done. And that right there it's done. is how you build a bridge. I'm really yeah. happy with that. That shape is really nice and the texture is also really nice. And the way you've done the path along here is also beautiful. And we're now officially connected. We are. This is I'm so actually good. so glad that this was done today. Yeah, it looks so because good. Because I've been staring at that cobblestone, wanting to yeah. build the bridge. No, it looks so good. Gibbity doodah. I have a clip I need to share that I recorded about a week ago, and um, I was very sick then, so my voice is a bit off. It was with Honorable, and it's about something he has commissioned me to do. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, good. How's it going? I'm good. So, what's this? <laughs> well, if you're interested, uh, I have a small uh, job for you. Mm hmm So, I saw in your video that you're really good at terraforming. This river <laughs> really impressed me. Yeah. So, I was wondering if you're down to do a little bit of terraform over at my place. I have a small sort of like divot in front of my base and I was wondering if you wanted to transform that into like a pond. Sure. I'd be happy to do that. So my front I feel like is very underwhelming. So I yeah. have this side right here which I'll probably get to and add like rocks and stuff. Yeah. But you can see this little like right here where the grass kind of goes down. It almost looks as if there should be a pond here that goes all the way down there. So you want the pond to be down here, and you want like a waterfall sort of going down into the pond? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. So... Uh, how do you... I, I sort of am picturing it good with like a... Um, with a path wrapping, like going alongside. Would you want a path? Yeah, I definitely want a path because everybody's bases are over there. Yeah. So, um, I do have some resources in the base you can use, so it saves you time. Yeah, cool. Um, because I imagine you probably use, like, tough cobblestone and maybe some other stuff, like whatever's over here. Yeah, I'll probably bring my own resources, but if I run out of something and don't want to run back to get it, I'll probably snag some from you. <laughs> right, yeah, no worries. Um, those chests are filled with blocks and stuff, and there's also some barrels up there that have stuff on them. So, cool. feel free to use them if you need it. Alright, I've got a terraforming project I've got to do at Honorable's base. I've got a bunch of blocks already together. Um, yeah, I've got some leaves, a bunch of stone, and like all this other terraforming stuff. Um, but first, before I place any blocks, I think I need to destroy some blocks to mold the landscape a bit more so I have a better idea of what I'm working with. So yeah, I'm going to get to block breaking. Gibbity doodah. Blocks have been broken. As you can see, I've been mining out a bunch of layers to the landscape. I've also mined out uh, the where the river's going to go. It's going to go all the way down to here. It's not really a river. It's more of a stream that goes into the pond down here. Uh, the pond will probably go to about this level. So the water's going to go up pretty high. It's going to have a little waterfall here. Um, and yeah. Next, what I've got to work on is I've got to add some trees and some foliage and uh, I've got to detail the ground a lot more because right now it's I, all it is is just where I've broken so this stone shouldn't really be here. I'm only going to do a little bit of like rockiness in the water but when it gets to the pond it's going to stay dirt. Like most ponds I've seen, it's all dirt. It, I don't really see rocky ponds very often. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope honorable likes the final product anyway yeah i'm gonna start work on this let's go Alright, this is looking good. I've got all this dirt in, um, I've got the water in, all the stone faces on the wall. I've also put this um, sort of ivy bush. I don't know what it is, it's not ivy, but it's a big big uh, vine growing up the stone wall there. I think it's really nice. I've got like little layers of ground. 
that you can walk along. This is looking really nice so far. All I need to do is add some bushes and trees and then it, then I can call it a day. So yeah, I better start doing that. And I'm hoping to get it done before Honorable logs on so I can give him like a tour or whatever. But if I want to get it done before Honorable gets on, I need to get a move on. So yeah, let's start placing trees. All right, I feel like the build is officially finished. The pop of red actually works like crazily well. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. This area is so good. And I've been dying to see what it looks like in shaders. So I'm going to toggle shaders now. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, that's actually incredible. Holy moly. Yes, I've got berry bushes and just tons of flower bushes everywhere. I'm really happy with it. I really need to clean this up though, because this is a mess. Like look, look at all that. Um, that's gonna be so annoying to transport all the way home. And I guess I'm gonna have to make a few more boats. But um, I got a bit lazy with the trees and um, I just placed a bunch of spruce here. Just to uh, make the forest from down here seem a bit more dense. You don't really notice that the they're different trees. Like you immediately just notice the custom trees from down here. Um, but yeah, this forest definitely makes it seem a lot more dense, which is nice. Now I'd love to hear what Honorable has to say about this. Lurky. Oh, is this payment? Yeah, gravel and some diamonds. Sweet. Oh, this is so much gravel. That's so good. And there's a book. Uh oh, I've got dyslexia. Let's see. Lorikey has agreed to terrify in the front of pond of Elden Root Castle. Lorikey proceeds to read this in the most dyslexic way possible. So I'm just gonna skip past it. If you want to read it, you can pause in the video. But yeah. Till next time, the Oracle. Thank you, Honorable. This is really nice. He must have liked the castle because I actually, I actually went to bed because I think it was like 2 a.m. when I finished the, the lake pond sort of river thing. Um, but I'm really glad he likes it. Oh, this is so good. Dirt, gravel. I'm going to need to open a terraforming shop because right now my price is a dirt cheap. <laughs> Gibbity doodah. Yeah, so over the course of this episode, you might have noticed down by my hip, I've got what I'm calling a seed bag. And this isn't a custom piece of armor. This is actually just my player model. And I've edited my player model to include this little seed bag. So I can't actually use it as like an actual bag. I can't store things in it. But I think it's cool. I've also got a hunting bow. So this hunting bow is actually a custom item. It's This is still vanilla, by the way. Um, but I've just changed the texture for the bow and I've had it applied in the server resource pack and now I've got a hunting bow and I made the texture for this myself so I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, all of this ties into what I want to theme my character around this season. So I want to theme my character around being a collector or an accumulator where I accumulate tons of different wilderness trophies or wilderness themed items like I could find wild parsnips and I just add a texture to like a baked potato um that turns them into wild parsnips and that will be my food but yeah what do you guys think about this this is all vanilla so it's not like I've modded anything in it doesn't change the way the actual game is played it's just purely visuals but yeah I've been yapping for a while I want to get the bus that I promised at the start of the episode done and I want to put it right there so this bus is going to be based off the magic bus, which is from my favorite movie, Into the Wild, which is a movie that follows someone called Chris McCandless, and it's a true story. He travels uh, across America to Alaska, and he 
ends up in this bus, which is originally for uh, transporting, I think, construction workers to a mine they were building on um, a trail. I think it was called like the, um, the Stampede Trail. And uh, so the bus was abandoned because it was broken down. But um, instead of transporting back to the city, they left it there for hunters to stay in. And yeah, eventually Chris found it and he stayed in it. And uh, it's my favorite movie. So I really wanted to include it because it really suits the theme I'm going for in this season. So yeah, uh, I hope you like the bus. Yeah, so what do you think of the bus? Um, I'm not actually good at building vehicles. Like this is probably one of the first vehicles I've ever built. Um, so yeah, it's not great, but I think it's pretty good. There's an actual picture of like the actual person, Chris McCandless, sitting on a chair outside the bus that he took. Um, and so that's why I've put a little chair here. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. There's actually no interior, uh, because there's not enough room. Um, but yeah, in the actual movie, in the interior, there's like a little, uh, furnace and a, like a sleeping area like there's a mattress so it's not very accurate in that part but yeah i didn't have enough room and this view right here on top of this chair is absolutely beautiful like you can see the river you can see the trees oh, i love this but when you step off the chair that it falls apart a bit you gotta put the back back up Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get the terraforming I wanted to do in this video done just because I'm so behind on when I wanted to upload this video. I wanted it to be uploaded last week, but obviously I was sick last week. But I'll be uploading this on Tuesday morning for me and on Tuesday, July 9th, that's actually my birthday. So if you want to give me a birthday present and you haven't subscribed, um, yeah, drop a subscribe. I would really appreciate it and it would be a great birthday present, especially if you've watched this whole video and you haven't subscribed. Like, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> and also, I'm going to be streaming. Um, so the stream times that I'm going to be streaming should be on screen right now. So, um, yeah, catch me then. We're probably actually going to be doing some terraforming if I don't get interrupted. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can do some custom birch trees uh, and maybe some, like, oak trees or, like, uh, just forest, normal forest trees in this area here. So we can finally get this base looking really good rather than just having really flat plain fields. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say at the start of the video, but there's actually... A bird's nest here. <laughs> I did this on the stream day. Um, so yeah, another good reason to watch the streams. So yeah, I appreciate you a lot for watching the whole video and I'll see you in the next one. Again, remember I'm streaming, make sure to join. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye bye. Give it the doodah.